This quick tip is gonna show you how you can check for updates on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. Go across to the settings cog just over there on the right, then go down and across to my Fire TV, and then go into about, and then go down to install update if you've got install update down there, or it may say check for updates, but whatever you've got down there, go into it, and then if there's an update, then it should install the update automatically. Sometimes it might wanna restart your Fire Stick or Cube to get it installed. Now, if you see this come up after your Fire Stick's restarted updating, please do not unplug the power cable during the update, then please do not unplug it. This could trash your Fire Stick. It could completely ruin it. You may have to buy a new one. This little white line should go up towards the right. It may take its time, but just be patient with it. As I say, if you did end up pulling the power out on this, disconnecting it from your TV or power supply or internet even, it could trash it. So it's very, very important that you are patient with it. It could take some time and that white line might at some point look as though it's not moving like mine doesn't look as though it is now, but believe you me, it will move. So just be patient with it. So there we are, my fire stick is now restarting. That took probably about five to 10 minutes for that line to go across the screen there. Now you often find it does take longer for the fire stick to restart after an update. You'll certainly see these fire TV logos for longer than you normally would. But again, it's not a sign that there's a problem. It is just doing some updates in the background. It's finishing them off, off a bit like Windows does when that restarts. You'll notice when Windows is shutting down, it does part of an update. And then when it starts back up again, it finishes off the updates. The difference is here, it's just not telling you that it's doing the rest of the update on screen. So again, just be patient with it. So there you go, that took about four minutes stuck on that screen just previously there. But once it's restarted, if it did need a restart, then go back across to the settings cog, go back down across to my Fire TV and then go into about and then go in there again and it's downloading an, another update automatically. So if it is, let that download. And then once it's downloaded, middle button on the remote control, you might well have a check for updates at the previous screen. Okay, so it says it's finishing updates. It says this may take a few minutes. Do not press any buttons on the Fire TV remote. So don't press any buttons on the Fire TV remote. This could cause problems. So just leave it. Leave it for as long as it needs to take. And at times you might think it's not doing anything, but believe you me, it is. So just be patient because again, you don't want to trash your fire stick. So if you come back to this screen, it's got check for updates, then press the middle button and let it check for updates. And as you can see here, it is downloading another update. Unfortunately, sometimes not all updates contain all the latest updates. So you do have to keep checking for updates until there's no more. So again, let that go through. And there we are. It's now come up with install update. So again, middle button, let it install. And again, don't press any buttons on the Fire TV remote. This again may take some time. So again, patience is required. And there we go. We're back to the screen where it says check for updates. So middle button on the remote control to check for updates. And there you go. If you see come up, your Fire TV is up to date on the right hand side of the screen, then you should be OK. But it may just be worth pressing the back button once, going down to restart, middle button, go across to restart, middle button, let your Fire Stick or Cube restart. And then once it's restarted, go back across to the settings cog just over there on the right, and then go down and go across to My Fire TV, go into About, and then go down to Check for Updates, and just press the middle button to check for updates again. 
and just make sure there's no more updates. So there you go. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're in the market for a new Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube, VPN, or want to have a look through my Amazon shop, then there's loads of links down there below in the description. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to ed educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my videos, you th see a video that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. And if you want to hit me up on X, formerly known as Twitter, then my handle is at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.